Hey guys, it's Rek here and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the best Fortnite settings in Chapter 2 Season 4 to boost FPS and reduce the input delay. The last time I made a video on the best settings in Fortnite was in Season 2, so this is the perfect time to make an updated guide. This video will not include any of the controller settings since I am a keyboard and mouse player myself, but I will be covering everything else and try to explain everything in as much detail as I can. So before the video starts, be sure to give me a follow on Twitter and DM me there if you need help with anything and i'm also having a free pc optimization giveaway over on the discord server so be sure to check that out as well all the links will be in the description so without any further ado let's get started so starting off with the guide, the first settings that we are gonna be changing are the video settings. So under display, make sure that window mode is set to full screen as Epic states itself that using full screen will run the game slightly faster as compared to windowed or windowed full screen mode. And it will also give you a lot less input delay. So I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and use full screen mode and don't use any of the other options. Then moving on to the resolution, most of you guys watching this video will be using 1920 by 1080 as it's the native resolution for most of the monitors. But I really highly recommend that you guys go ahead and use 1600 by 900 since it will give you a huge FPS boost. 1600 by 900 is not a stretch resolution so your game will not be stretched out or anything, instead it's just a little blurry version of the native resolution itself. So honestly just go ahead and give it a try and even after me practically begging you guys to use 1600 by 900 you don't want to use it then I'll show you an alternative for that as well. But before that move on to the frame rate limit and the general rule for capping your FPS is that you should always cap your FPS one step above your monitor's refresh rate. So if you are using a 60Hz monitor like me, cap your FPS at 120. If you are using a 144Hz monitor, then cap your FPS at 160. And if you are using a 240Hz monitor, then cap your FPS at either 240 or 360 since they have a lot of difference of FPS there. The only thing that you should never do is set your frames to unlimited and you can cap them anywhere you want. But the general rule is to always cap them one step above your monitor's refresh rate. Then moving on to the graphics quality, all of these settings are personal preference. For me, I'm using brightness at 100% and recommend that all of you guys use it at 100% as well. Then the user interface contrast, this does nothing with the game, it only changes the contrast of this settings menu, so leave it at whatever you want. Then moving on to the colorblind mode, this is an interesting one. And for this season, Deuteronope and Protonope are the best colorblind modes or you can just turn the colorblind mode off. Honestly, do not use Tritonope because it just looks horrible. But you can use either one of the Protonope or Deuteronope. And then moving on to the colorblind strength, this is personal preference again, I'm using it at 3. But you can go ahead and test out some values and then set it to whatever you like. Then come the graphics quality settings which are the most important settings on this page. The first thing that you guys need to do is do not use the auto set button. Instead what you need to do is set the quality presets to low which will make everything else in the graphics quality settings set to low as well. Then the only thing that you guys want to change is the 3D resolution. Now if you guys are using 1600 by 900 as I told already, then you should set the 3D resolution to 100%. But those of you guys who don't want to change your resolution and instead want to play on 1920 by 1080 but still get the performance of 1600 by 900, those of you guys will change the 3D resolution to 83%. It will basically do the same thing as 1600 by 900 but you will still be playing on your native resolution. Moving on to the advanced graphics settings, always turn off vSync. Guys, please do not use vSync, it will really give you a high input delay. So, I highly, highly recommend that you guys go ahead and turn off vSync. Then, moving on to the motion blur, always set it to off. I don't even know why you would have that on. Then, for the show FPS, make sure to turn it on just to monitor your FPS. So, these new settings dropped after I had recorded the video, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add them right now. So, you might have seen this new setting called high res textures. What we're gonna be doing is leaving it on. Now, some of you guys might be thinking that won't it lower our FPS or affect anything else, but the thing is that Fortnite status tweeted out with the release of version 14.10, you may have noticed a new high res textures option in the settings. This option has no effect except on PlayStation 4 and Android devices. We apologize for the confusion. So that's the reason we are going to be leaving it on unless you are on PlayStation 4 or Android devices. 
As for the ray tracing settings, Edomax made a tweet about that explaining everything in detail. So I'm gonna be leaving a link down below to his tweet. Go ahead and give it a read if you are interested. And now continue on with the guide. And then we move on to the DirectX version. For me, I'm personally using DirectX 11 since I am using a GTX 750 Ti. But for those of you guys who are using anything above GTX 1070, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and test out DirectX 12 and see if it gives you high frames and stable FPS as well. The general rule is if you are using a high-end graphics card then you should really give a shot to DirectX 12 and if you are using a really low-end graphics card then set it to DirectX 11. Then moving on to the allow multi-threaded rendering, if you guys have 4 or more cores then set it to on, just keep in mind that it will not work for each and every one of you, so give it a try and if it works for you set it to on otherwise just turn it off. If you want to know how many cores you have just go ahead and go to your desktop then right click on your taskbar and click on task manager. Then under the performance tab and in CPU, you will see the number of cores you have. We are not looking for the number of logical processors, we are looking for the number of cores we have. For me, I have 4 cores and I have set it to on and it's working really great for me. Then moving on to the use GPU crash debugging, always turn it off, it's not worth it guys, it's really not worth it. Then going into the game settings and under the movement toggle sprint make sure that it's turned off and sprint by default is turned on because we are in chapter 2 and it's season 4. Then set sprint cancels reloading to off and auto open doors to on. This will really help you guys if you somehow mess up your edits and make a door edit. It will automatically open up the door and you can continue on with your building. Then under combat these are all personal preference but these are my settings hold to swap pickup off toggle targeting off and I recommend that you guys turn off toggle targeting as it will really mess up with your aim and mark danger when targeting this is basically the ping system so turn it on auto pick up weapons I have turned it on you can turn it off it depends on you and auto sort consumables to the right I have turned it on and I recommend that you guys do the same. Under the building, reset building choice is off for me. And then turbo building, if you set this one off, you're gonna feel the pain. So I highly recommend that you guys turn on the turbo building. As for the confirm edit on release, this is a really controversial topic and a lot of people still don't use it. I honestly recommend that you guys use confirm edit on release if you're using a single edit keybind. If you're using double edit keybinds then turn it off. Otherwise, I highly recommend that you guys turn on the confirm edit on release. Then there isn't much to talk about in the setting except for the last part which are the NVIDIA highlights. Make sure to turn them off, peripheral lighting, make sure to turn them off as well. As for tap to search or interact, turn it on as it will really help you. And for the replays, make sure that all of the replays are turned off. I have to turn them on because I want to use some of the images for backgrounds which I source from replays. So for you guys, I highly recommend that you guys go ahead and turn off the replays as it will give you a huge FPS boost. Then into the game UI settings, all of the settings in here are personal preference. Just turn them on as they are already. And for the hood scale, it's all personal preference but I'm using a 92% hood scale. And I want you guys to lower it a bit as well, do not use 100%. Just mess around with it and see which one works best for you. And the only thing that you guys should turn off are the creative runtime performance stats as they are really unnecessary. Then moving on to the mouse and keyboard settings, under the mouse sensitivity I'm using 27.5% as my X sensitivity and the same for my Y sensitivity as well. I'm using 400 as my mouse DPI and for the targeting sensitivity I have 90%, scope sensitivity is at 90% as well. I'm using a high sensitivity and if you guys want a really in-depth tutorial on finding your perfect sense then you should comment down below and I will make a video on it or you can just watch its Darian's video on the sensitivity topic but if you want a new and updated guide to the sensitivity then be sure to let me know and I will do it on this channel then moving on to the audio settings there isn't much that you should change here I'm not gonna go in depth with anything except for one setting that is the sound quality make sure to set it to low but some people will get audio cutouts if they set it to low so set it to high in that case this is the only thing that you guys want to change and if you have 3d headphones on make sure to turn them off as well 
then moving on to the keyboard controls and in the keybinds these are all of my keybinds these are not optimal keybinds or anything but if you want the optimal keybinds then be sure to check out any pros settings over on the internet and you can copy from them but these are all my keybinds just in case if any of you wants to take a look so these are all of the keybinds that i am using and i really don't recommend that you guys use these just go ahead and find any optimal settings over on the internet and copy those so yeah guys these are all of the best settings in fortnite chapter 2 season 4 to boost fps and reduce the input delay i really hope that all of you guys really enjoyed it and before the video ends make sure to give me a follow on twitter and also check out the discord server as i am having a free pc optimization giveaway over there all the links will be in the description and if this video helps you in any way shape or form be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one until then stay awesome